Hey, my name is Kai and I'm going to be doing a book review of David Arnold's book, Kids of Appetite. This book came out in September of 2016 and this will most likely be a spoiler-free review, but I will have spoiler warnings when necessary. One thing that I look for in books is diversity, whether it's race, gender, or sexuality. Having diverse characters always makes me more excited and more motivated to read a book. This book is about a 5 out of 10 on the diversity scale. Something that really stood out to me is that the main character, Vic, has a neurological disorder and because of this disorder, he has face paralysis. This really stood out to me because I don't think about disabilities when I think about diversity, which is a fault on my part. I was very intrigued when I found out that he had a disorder because disorders aren't really talked about in books and they often have terrible representation in the media. When Baz and Zoos were introduced and I learned they were from the Congo, I was pretty happy because the books had African American representation and most books don't have characters of color, so I was glad to know that not everyone in this book would be white. Also, no spoilers, but Mad's story offers something that you don't really see in books a lot, or I haven't seen her story in the books I've read. As someone who doesn't really like romance books, I thoroughly enjoyed this one. Even though this book isn't a full-on romance novel, it was still a pretty prominent part of the plot. Even though this book had romance, I really enjoyed it in this book. I'm not going to say who gets together because I'm trying to make this a spoiler-free review. The romance in this book is the kind of love most people hope for. It's a lot of fun and they make each other happy. The romance in Kids of Appetite, or KOA, is the definition of young love. It's found while on an adventure, it's impulsive, and I really do ship the characters that fall in love in this book. The writing in this book is marvelous, so the romance was quite appealing to me. Romance is an adventure and it's fun, and the two people in the relationship are both in difficult places in their lives, but they make each other smile and laugh. The way Arnold wrote the romance in this book is really fun and tremendous. The adventure in this book is wonderfully enticing and breathtaking. Arnold is a fantastic writer and I hope with all my heart that this doesn't get turned into a movie because they wouldn't be able to translate the words into pictures and that would suck because the writing is just so marvelous and outstanding and astonishing. I don't know how to describe it but it's beautiful and this book is amazing and you should definitely read this book, I loved it so much. The characters arcs are written wonderfully and you can't pinpoint where they start to change but you can see them growing throughout the book and how they progress. They all learn how to trust each other revealing their past to Vic and Vic trusts the others and tell them what he's doing and what happened to him. This book was equal parts adventure, mystery, and romance and it's all well balanced. Arnold is an amazing writer and it really shows here. I love how Mad and Vic's relationship progresses and shifts throughout the book. One relationship that really stood out to me was Vic and Zuzu's relationship. The two didn't talk much, but I still really enjoyed what they did and how they communicated. Overall, the characters were brilliant, the writing was too wonderful and intricate to describe, the plot was funny and sad and dazzling, the mystery component of this book had me wondering who had done it the whole way through, and even when the killer was revealed, I was surprised but delighted and all I could think that it's such an appropriate ending to such a wild book. Kids of Appetite is amazing and I highly, highly recommend you read it, especially if you liked All the Bright Places by Jennifer Niven. I really do recommend this book. It's a great read. Thanks for tuning into my book review. I really appreciate it. I hope you like it. Happy reading.